Let's talk about closet cosplay. Closet cosplay is when you use items that you have in your home as well as makeup and Photoshop skills to try and capture the vibe of a character that you really, really like. The goal isn't accuracy, but to channel the essence of the character in the series. So possibly you're doing something like an AU cosplay, an alternate universe cosplay, or maybe you're doing something where you're just trying to get the key elements of a character's outfit kind of in your closet cosplay look. You can do this by draping items, changing the colors of them in Photoshop, adding special effects in Photoshop, or using makeup to change certain aspects of your face, such as your facial features or adding little markings to make yourself look more similar to the character. Closet cosplay is a really great way to get into cosplay as well as trying out different characters that maybe you're not entirely sure if you vibe with. It is a great way to try out either both cosplay the hobby or cosplaying a character without dedicating too much time and energy into that, as well as money, because unfortunately cosplay can be very expensive. And honestly, things that are called makeup tests and cosplay tests, cos tests, are simply just closet cosplay, but under a different name. It means different things to everyone, but never discount the fact that a cos test is technically a closet cosplay and just as valid as real cosplay. A lot of people act as though cosplay is only valid if you spend an enormous amount of time and money pouring into this thing. That's not true. Cosplay is for everyone. It doesn't matter what your skill level is with any aspect of creating and cosplay. It doesn't matter how much money you can put into it. It doesn't matter how canon you look. Cosplay is a form of self-expression and it's an art type. It's subjective and it's for the cosplayer to do kind of whatever you want within reason. Please don't do anything that's offensive. So let's talk about how we do closet cosplay. Firstly, you're gonna wanna look in your closet, obviously. Figure out if you have clothes that work for a vibe of a character that you really want to cosplay. Do you have clothes that would work for a reimagining of another character, such as an AU cosplay? Do you even have elements from another cosplay that would work for something else? Reusing items from cosplays that you've already made or purchased is a great way to make sure that you have a lot of variety. Some of the items that are in my own closet that I reuse frequently are things like my belts for my Breath of the Wild Link cosplay. I use them on literally everything. My Sylvanas corset I use for Jester, I use for closet cosplays of like different D&D characters and then Sylvanas as well. My leather coat from my Merlin cosplay, I reuse from my Fig cosplay, which is great because now I don't have to go buy another leather coat. My black Hot Topic dress that I thrifted years ago, I wind up reusing every so often for various closet cosplays such as Lust and Marion. My brown Jedi boots that I purchased years ago, just because I was like, these are Jedi boots, I've used for nearly every cosplay that I ever need that requires brown boots. Thrifting is a great way to affordably add to your cosplay wardrobe, but also letting yourself be mindful of things that you're interested in for yourself. Crafting small items with cardboard and foam is a great way to kind of get started into crafting without it being too expensive. And if you get really creative, you can use cardboard as well for making swords and shields. Just a reminder, cosplay is for fun. Yes, some people are able to make it a job. They're very lucky in doing that. It's something that maybe they have great skill in or they've worked years for. But the people who made it a job started with it as a hobby. It was something that they loved dearly before they got into actually making money with it. And it's important to remember that when it comes to cosplay, especially in the world that we live in, where it's so curated on social media. There's a lot of pressure in the cosplay community, especially when it comes to those in the TikTok scene, to be constantly be making new items. Closet cosplay is a great way to have new looks without actually having to spend a ton of money. But as I keep saying, cosplay is for fun. This is a hobby. You're going to want to make sure that fun is your first priority. If you're not having fun with it, you don't need to be pressuring yourself into doing this. That's just kind of my little two cents in on this whole conversation about closet cosplay. I hope it helps you and I hope it encourages you to really dive into it if it's something you've kind of been on the fence about. As always, I hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time.